Hello everybody, welcome to video, uh, Nomad Coders video. Today we are going to talk about something called online coding. Uh, online coding is a term that I just created. I pulled it from my ass. And it's basically, um, it's a, I wanna make a review of websites where you can code online, where you don't have to install anything. And you can make from a simple HTML, CSS website to something like with React, to maybe a backend server, or even something like a, even a React Native application. Um, I've been drawn to these things because I like the idea of being able to code on the on the browser without having to download a text editor and without, without having to download Node.js and updating it and without having to download NPM any of those things, just everything ready for me on the browser. And I really, really like that. So the first one I want to show you is called CodePen. CodePen is a very simple idea. It's just basically um, an editor where you can just get in uh, HTML files, CSS files, and JS files. And then you can just um, show it to people. You can make it private. Many people use CodePen as a portfolio kind of thing. And they do crazy and cool experiments. For example, this one, let's see if we come here. We can see we have a HTML, we have a, a CSS, and we have a JavaScript. And this guy generates trees, looks like it. All right, cool as fuck. And here you can just show your code, pretty, pretty simple code. Now also, what you can do is change the prep preprocessor. And for example, you can use TypeScript and he will automatically understand TypeScript for you. And he will do everything on his own. It is awesome. You don't have to install anything whatsoever. Also, you can, for example, change the CSS and you can use uh, SCSS, for example, and it will just work automatically and it will turn it into a CSS file, which is super, super cool. So as you can see, no configuration required. This one is a very good um, if you want to like share uh, some small code. If, for example, you have an error in one of my classes and you want to show me the error, you can just copy paste your HTML and your CSS that is making a problem or the JavaScript, and I will be able just to see it and execute it for myself. Uh, it's way much faster than, for example, you giving me a GitHub link or a screenshot, of course. So this is the, the uh, first one. The other one would be Code Sandbox. Now, Code Sandbox is freaking cool because it not only allows you to create HTML, CSS, JavaScript, it also allows you to create even more complex stuff because it, ha it has access to Node.js. So as you can see here, for example, you can create applications with Angular, React, Vanilla, Preact, Reason, Vue, Gatsby, Node, Next, React, TypeScript, Vanilla, TypeScript, which is fucking cool. My favorite one is always to work with React because I like to make like small React apps. And as, you, as soon as you click there, it just works automatically. As you can see here, you're done, you can just work immediately, and it works with the latest version of Create React App. As you can see, there is a template here. And also, for example, if you want to, you can just add dependencies. Now, I am going to save this thing. So it goes to my account, great. And now that I'm logged in, you will see that I can even enable GitHub, so I don't have to lose version control. I can just make commits from Code Sandbox, which is fucking cool. Also, if I want, I can deploy this to site. This means to now, I can just upload it and it will just go to the server. There is no need to download and then upload. No need for that. I can just do everything on one website, which is unbelievable. Also, you can configure your package.json, your prettier configuration, sandbox configuration, and other stuff. The thing that I like is that you can come here and in dependencies, for example, you can add one dependency and you can say styled components, for example, if I want one, you can just click on it and it will be installed automatically for you. So you can just import it over here and it will still work. It's awesome. Now, another part that I like is that you can go live and live means that other people can see how you code or other people can actually interact with you while you're coding. So you can code in a team. I can work on one page. You can work in a different page and we know what we both are doing, like real time coding, which is fucking great. Uh, yeah, this is called Sandbox. I really, really like it. And I think that's it. They have many, many templates. You can just choose any of them you want. Also, you could import from GitHub. And if you paste a URL on GitHub that has a package.json uh, file, it will just import it automatically for you. And you can just work here instead of working on somewhere else. All right. Fucking cool. Now, the next one that I want to show you is a snack. Snack comes from Expo, and this one is to be able to code React Native applications on your browser. And this is awesome because not only is React, it's also React Native, 
and they give you a simulator. This simulator is based on Appetize.io. Um, you can use it or you cannot use it, or what you can do is that you can just connect on your device. So you can run it on your device. If you have Android, you can just do this. You can scan it, or you can just tap here to play. I think it will, oh no, no problem. And then this will just work automatically. I will just come here and whatever I change, whenever I save is going to be automatically um, loaded into my simulator. In this case, I don't have, it doesn't matter if I have Windows, it doesn't matter if I have Linux, it doesn't matter if I have Mac OS, nothing. I can just do this and I'm good to go. Now, if you want to, you can export this product and then you can just open it on your computer. Now you can also embed this thing and you um, can just paste it on a website or something. So as you can see, there is no excuse anymore to not code. You have to install nothing, just having your browser and yeah, just go crazy with it. You can do whatever you want. JavaScript websites, React websites, Vanilla websites, Angular, Dojo, Gatsby, Next, Node, Nuxt, Zapper, Net, blah, blah, blah. even TypeScript or import from GitHub. Awesome. So let me know what are your favorite websites for online coding. Uh, and let me know if you use some of them. Me personally, I have never built a full project 100% with online coding, but I would really like to try. Uh, maybe the next project I make, I make it only online coding so you can just see my progress and my previews here. Thank you for watching and that's it. Stay awesome, eat the kimchi, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff and mwah, I love you. Bye-bye.